The holidays are always stressful. You may be worried about potentially purchasing gifts online through places like Amazon or other online stores. Adding to this potential stress are the increasing scams out there and the ongoing battle to keep your data protected and secure. This is The Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to go over three ways to keep yourself and your data safe this holiday season. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. The first step starts with your device. Whether it's your smartphone, tablet, or laptop or desktop, you'll want to make sure that the device you use is as secure as possible. This also includes your passwords. Not only should your password be more of a passphrase, meaning with special characters, numbers, letters, but the passwords that you do use for anything should be completely different each time. Then it's highly recommended to use multi-factor authentication. If you've done online banking or just various online shopping, you're probably already familiar with MFA which provides an additional layer of security by sending you a unique one-time passcode via email, text message, or authenticator application. Most online merchants like Amazon, for example, offer this as a more secure and recommended method of authentication. Make sure that the applications that you are using on your device are up to date, as well as the operating system itself. Running the latest version of this software means that any security issues will be addressed and up to date and that your system's performance is optimized. The second thing that we want to think about is your online behavior. It is much harder now to be vigilant about our online behavior and security these days due to things like social media and being able to share information almost instantly with people. But how you react to messages and people online will play a key role in keeping yourself secure. The most important thing I will say is never provide sensitive information to anyone online over text or over the phone unless you can verify that that person or agency on the other end is legitimate. Whenever you receive a call, text, or email that asks you to provide valuable financial or personal information, it is most likely a scam. By providing any data to these scammers and thieves, you may lose your money, data, or even your identity. Some people could even use this data that you share on social media to determine when you are or are not home over the holidays, which can be terrible if you have things delivered during that time. If this is the case, you may want to do things like having packages be held at the post office, or if they're from places like Amazon, they do have a service where you can have the package delivered in a lockbox that needs to be unlocked with a code that only you would have. Now, with that being said, how can you tell that a scam is a scam? Well, first, know the facts. If you receive any message claiming to be from places like Amazon, Apple, or Microsoft, stating that your account has been hacked, beware of these scare tactics and threats of urgency to solicit sensitive data like your social security number, bank account, or login information. These type of scammers will try to yell, scream, and blackmail you for your information, but they can't do anything to you unless you give them access to your devices. What you need to do when you get calls like this, block their number or email and don't worry. If you receive a message that contains an attachment, Unless you can verify that the sender of this message is legitimate, do not open it and delete the message. It's extremely important to know, again, do not open the attachment as it could contain viruses or other malware meant to steal your data. Finally, we'll look at third parties. When your confidential information is provided to third parties, that data is only as secure as the person or company that is handling it. With this being said, always remember to never discuss sensitive information over email unless the third party that you're handling business with uses a secure messaging system to relay this sensitive information using encryption. 
Remember to navigate to the website yourself instead of using links that are sent to you in an email as these links can be spoofed to look legitimate but are actually fake. Finally, and I can't stress this enough, but do make sure that you back up your files. If you or the third party that you're doing business with happens to lose your data or is a victim of ransomware, you will at least have another copy of your files. If possible, do try to keep one copy of your very sensitive data in a separate physical location. Take a look at a previous video I've made discussing archiving and backing up files to learn more information on this. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.